So another of the preparations for meditation is to really look after our body. To have eaten well, rested well, and then find a comfortable posture. Not necessarily the one you've seen in meditation magazines, but something that works for your body right now in this moment. And when we close our eyes, we become a little bit more sensitive to the needs of our body, which may be to put something under your feet or lean against the chair or not. Perhaps uh, if you're sitting cross-legged, you might wish to give your ankles a little more space so they're not pressing into your shin. And taking this time at the beginning is not a waste of time, but rather establishes a kind and caring relationship with your own body. So your body knows it's not going to be pushed around. And just noticing the simplicity of just sitting quietly, eyes closed. <coughs> Feeling the ground or the chair beneath you. And with the support of the ground, the earth, allowing the muscles, the limbs to relax. And perhaps gently smiling inward toward your body, as it were. Feeling any sensations in your body from the head. All the way down through your face, your neck, your shoulders. and just letting them be. Allowing those sensations in your body to bring you more fully into this present moment. and the mind to start to settle down. Feeling your arms, elbows, hands, fingers, fingertips.
noticing your chest area and any sensations you experience in that part of your body imbuing them with kindness and warmth Feeling your belly, receiving any sensations that arise. Without trying to change or push anything away. Moving down your back from the shoulders, the upper back, all the way down to your lower back. Allowing any tightness just to relax. And feeling your buttocks sitting on the floor or on the chair. Noticing the support of the ground and allowing any tension, any holding to relax. Rooted firmly to the ground firmly in this present moment. And allowing your awareness to take in any sensations you experience in your thighs, behind the knees, every part of your upper leg. imbuing those sensations with friendliness, with care, even if they're disagreeable. Just allowing them to be.
and allowing your attention to continue to flow down all the way through the shins, the calves, to the soles of the feet. And to each and every toe, just receiving any sensation, maybe warmth or tingling, maybe throbbing or aching, any sensation, <coughs> and being kind. And now taking in any sensations of your body as a whole, allowing the perception of the whole body into your mind. And if there are any areas of tightness or tension, contraction or pain, just see if you can give them that little bit more kindness and care. As though giving them a mental massage with your mind. Inviting them to relax. Perhaps imagining that you're basking in the warm spring sunshine. Perhaps leaning on a deck chair. Allowing the relaxation to go deeper. Until there's hardly any tightness or holding anywhere at all. Just enjoying this moment of relaxation. (laughs) 
sensing that you're in a friendly and welcoming space. If you wish, you can continue to dwell in this safe, friendly presence of the mind. Just being kind to whatever arises and anchoring the mind in the present with whatever sensation you experience right now. Or if you wish, I invite you to just bring up any quality that you really respect and appreciate in your heart. Perhaps you can recognize that you have kindness or generosity a non-judgmental attitude to others. or a sincere intention to try your best. Whatever quality you really respect and admire, appreciate in yourself. See if you can acknowledge this with a sense of gladness, a sense of self-respect. And notice if there's any effect on the feelings in the body right now. Does it bring a deeper sense of ease or relaxation? Or maybe you don't notice very much necessarily connected with that. That's fine. Just dwell on that quality and what that means to you.
And now I invite you to recollect any time that you maybe spoke or acted with this quality in mind. Any generous or kind, virtuous act of body or speech. Perhaps as simple as feeding the cat. or as compassionate as saving a little insect. Perhaps some anti-racism work or activist work you're involved in. Or the way you treat a friend Whatever it is, see if you can recollect that good deed of body or speech. And tap into the happiness that that generated for you and for others. And with this appreciation of your own goodness, you may, if you wish, start spreading loving kindness to yourself. Wishing, may I be happy. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be liberated from all suffering. So just choosing a few phrases, very simple phrases of benevolence towards yourself that really resonate for you. Repeating these phrases within your own mind and heart, staying connected to your body, perhaps especially the area around the heart, And just listening, pausing between each phrase to allow the heart to incline in the direction of loving kindness. Without expecting anything, any special experience. but just delighting in spreading loving kindness in having the intention to be kind.
And if your mind wanders, just be kind to that, recognizing it as an opportunity to re-establish that intention of loving-kindness once again. Planting the phrase as a seed in the heart and shining the light and the warmth of the sun, your loving awareness in the space between each phrase to allow that loving kindness to flourish, to flower.
So we're coming close to the end of the meditation now. And uh, it can be helpful at the end to just reflect on how you're feeling now compared to when you began. Just to notice if there's any more peace or acceptance, softness in the mind, or not. To recognize how that feels And what were the causes? What were the effects of trying to be kind? And just expressing appreciation toward yourself for having tried. Having given yourself that gift of kindness, whether or not you are able to receive it. Your intention was to be kind. And just as I am trying to learn to be kind to myself, may all beings be kind to themselves and be kind to those around them. May all beings dwell in safety at ease. and at peace.